So this is going to talk you through some of the customizations you can do on Emus. So this button here, the kind of cog, is the settings button and it's relevant to whichever page you're on. So if you're in a diary entry, pressing this button will show you all the things you can do for the, the, the diary. So you can have a look at this and see kind of what things you want to have a look at. Things that you might want to have a look at are session holder filters. Um, so you could see who you want on there. Um, I don't generally change very much um, on here. So this one here, so I, down here on the side here is who I want on here. Um, so you can kind of move things across as you want them. I don't change very much on um, this screen. The main one that you change is inner consultation. So we just have to select a patient first. Click on the consultations. And this is the um, settings one that I do change quite a lot of. So if you click on your settings, you can see there's some different things. So this one, um, you can just see which X one. I don't really use that one. So this is the one that I use all the time. So this is where if you were to type something, it automatically self-populate with either a recode or free text. So anything with this symbol is your organization and it will be in light gray. You can't edit it and you can't do anything with them. So you saw this one in the two week wait um, video that I showed you. So if I type two WW hashtag, it automatically comes up with the code and all the free text for it. But you can see there's these black ones with a, a kind of a personal and they're the ones that I have done myself. So that one's for PSDs. I've done one, for example, for back pain. So you've got a back history, back examination, a back comment um, for COVID, for um, depression. You know, there's more PSD ones, um, drug monitoring due, gyne, gyne examinations, head examination, head history, um, signposts into the Birmingham Healthy Minds recode. So you can see there's loads of different things that I use and loads of times like all the spoke to different people. I find them really helpful. UTI history is one that I use all the time. To add them, you click add. Decide whatever it is you want to add. Um, is your comment. I've got no idea. Let's just make one up. Whether you want to put a hashtag at the end is completely up to you. And then you can put whatever you want it to be. Or if you want that just to create a code like the uh, one I do for the Healthy Minds, then you just search for whatever code it is you want to find. Um, and so, for example, you want to just have it as that. So, so if I did de dep hashtag, it would just come up with the recode. Or you can do your free text, whatever it is you want to do, you would then click add and then it would arrive on here. If you think, oh, there's a typo in that, I need to change it, you can just click edit. If you don't use them anymore, you think, what a waste, I'll get rid of them, you can just delete them off there. So this is the thing that I would um, advise every person utilises thoroughly because it's one of the best things about EMIS um, that you can do that and it saves you an awful lot of time. Have a look through some of the other things that you... Um, that you can have a look at, but generally, um, the only thing I ever really use on this box is this one here. If you were in medications, and again, if you click the wheelie gog, you can decide on certain different things. So, for example, as a the um the the current drugs, I click at just summary as acute and repeat. The past, I want a summary defaulted by none, so it comes up in date order. That's how I prefer it. But if you wanted to, you could change it to the drug group. Um, you can change your right-hand side so that you are um, printing it, and you always really want to be doing that. So have a look at the configure button, but mainly I'd say the one you're going to really use is quick codes and texts. You can also change the order that things appear on here. So for example, that is one that I've added on myself because that's from my reporting. 
So if you um, click on Customize Quick Access, anything that you think you use quite often that's not on the top, you could just add in. Anything that you don't use, for example, I don't think I've ever used that quick button ever, so I'm just going to remove that now. Say, for example, I was admin and I want to do the scanning of documents, I could add that on, so I could have secretaries might want that added on. So it just depends on what um, what thing you use the most you can add over. So if I click OK, in theory, um, the apple should disappear now. There we go, so it's gone, because I don't really use that anymore. The other thing that you can customise in um, your daily IT system is your AccuRx. So if you are live on a patient and you load a text, go into templates and you can see manage templates, you click there and then it's opened up on my second screen and I'm just going to bring that over so you can see it. So you can see here everything that you can do, you can see individual things that I've added. Um, so if you scroll down, that's all the templates that I've added to myself to AccuRx. Um, and you can add whatever you want on here. So you can create a new one. By putting the title, what you actually want it to say, whether you want it to default to reply or not. Um, whether you want to recode in it or not. Um, these are the ones that my organisation have done. And these are the ones that AccuRx has put in. But my templates is the ones that you can do with what you want. So for example, they know that's I wanted my local abortion service so that I could just text it without having to look it up each time. Things that you find yourself texting often, just create a new one so you don't have to keep typing them. If you have any other questions about customization, um, just talk to your trainer and we'll be able to show you any other ways to try and help your um, working day.